Last month, I published a InfluxDB community template, which includes all the resources necessary to create your own Fortnite tracker, which allows you to track uh, performance for your favorite uh, Fortnite players, both professionals as well as your friends and family players. It includes uh, several dashboards, as you can see here, the professional players are listed separately from your friends and family players. Uh, each player has a link that you can click on to bring up a detailed stats dashboard. And there's also a player comparison dashboard where you can choose any two players and see how they compare overall, as you can see by the giant emoji at the bottom. It also includes an alerting system so that when your favorite Fortnite player wins, a uh, Slack message will be sent out. So to get started, you're going to need to create a free FortniteAPI.io uh, account, which is um, an unofficial Fortnite API service. The API key will be listed in the upper right here, so you want to copy that somewhere so you have that because we're going to use that as an environmental variable. You're also going to want to create an InfluxDB Cloud 2.0 account. There's a free TR available. So once you create that, you're going to need some environmental variables, including the Influx uh, host, which is the first part of the URL here, the Influx uh, org, which is the email that you signed up with, which is going to be here. And you're going to need the uh, token, which you can create here and click on the token copy to clipboard. So I copied all this over previously. In addition to that, you're going to need an influx underscore bucket environmental variable. I set it to Fortnite, but if you're using uh, all your buckets, you can reuse uh, an existing bucket. That's not a problem. So here is a DigitalOcean $5 a month droplet that I'm using to run Telegraph, which is uh, going to kick off the Python script every hour to grab the data from the API service. So I set up the credentials for the CLI already. So if we type influx config, you can see that the connection settings and credentials are already set up. So let's apply the template. So to apply it, you would do influx um, apply dash F. We'll go back to the community template and click on the YAML file, which contains the template. And Notice how it prompts for the bucket name. I'm going to choose Fortnite. Okay. And it's telling you what resources are going to be installed, such as the dashboards, the telegraph config, the variables. Click yes. It tells you what it installed. Okay. So now that we have that installed, we can go back and take a look at to see what that the resources were indeed installed, including the tax, the variables, the bucket, and the telegraph config. So we'll click on the telegraph config, and you can see that the exec input plugin is available, which calls the Python script, which is going to grab the data from the API service, and it includes the Influx DBT V2 output plugin based on all the environmental variables that we set up previously. So that's in the Telegraph config. The environmental variables, because we're running the Telegraph as a service, are in Etsy default Telegraph. So we can, um, one more thing we need to do is set. Uh, upload the secret with the Slack webhook. So we'll do influx secret update-k slack webhook. 
and it says please type your secret so I'm going to use the free uh, freely available uh, influx community slack webhook for testing purposes you can use that as well just sign up for the uh, slack influx db slack community and one other thing I wanted to point out is that the player IDs are which is used by the uh, the Python script are stored in telegraph um, players.csv you can get the player IDs from the from a curl request which is in the community template uh, readme so you can see here the second column contains uh, the professional status if you add more of your friends or family you can add that at the bottom and just change that to no so let's start the telegraph service make sure that's running whoops status and it is running so right now there is no data that's been loaded yet so I'm gonna go ahead and load some historical data so we can take a look so now that the historical Fortnite data has been loaded there's uh, one last thing to do so go into the individual stats dashboard and from there copy the URL up to the question mark this is the individual stats dashboard and go back and look at the all players dashboard and all you need to do is go into two cells for friends and family and pros and replace the link uh, in the map paste that in there and do the same for the pro cell now you can see that the dashboard is fully loaded with time series data and if you click on a player's uh, link next to their level it'll bring up the individual dashboard view so you can see detailed stats there.